Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife video for you. This one's going to be kind of fun. I think uh, some of you guys might not be happy about it, but it's your fault. This is your top five-ish favorite knife brands. How did I come up with that? I looked at my analytics. I looked at the stuff that you guys click on the most, the stuff that you watch the most. This is about 66% math and about 33%. I did kind of weigh it a little bit because some of these companies, you have, to, you have to go by how many videos I've done of them, how consistently they get a whole lot of clicks, how uh, how much uh, the, the playlists I make involving these companies get traffic, things like that. But it's mostly just involved, it, mostly just from math. It's just math. It's what you guys watch the most. I notice when I'm looking at stuff and this is the first time I sat down and really like thought it out and did some math and then really thought about, you know, how many I have and all that stuff. So this is, this is you guys, this is the knives, your favorite brands from my viewers, judging by how much you watch videos. First up, the first one, why I said five ish. The first one is a tie. I couldn't really pick which one it was. The first ones are Kaiser but only the vanguards the kaiser vanguards i'm going to be specific on this one uh the the higher end ones don't get as much traffic but you guys love the videos of the kaiser vanguards this is the mini sheepdog and the domain two awesome knives don't blame you guys for watching those reviews a lot because they're really cool tied with them for fifth place i would say is steel will we'll move these to the side i guess there's going to be a whole lot of knives out here this is going to get complicated uh, I've got three of them here. I have the uh, min the uh, full size cut jack M390, the resident carbon fiber titanium, and the mini cut jack D2. So uh, yeah, this is another brand that you guys watch the reviews of a whole lot, uh, especially whenever one of them's in a battle to the death. For some reason, whenever I do a versus video with a steel wheel, you guys really love it. So these are your tie for fifth place: Kaiser Vanguards and the steel wheels. So, all right, let's move these aside, and we will pull up fourth place here. I want to make sure I don't have them wrong, because it was it was pretty close on the... Uh... All right, next up, this is a newcomer. And I'm only putting these guys in fourth place, but it probably could be higher, because uh, they're getting, percentage-wise, they're doing really good, and I know it's going to go up. And I thought about combining them, but I'll explain why I didn't. Civivi. I'm gonna put for number four, all by its lonesome. Uh, the the Wii knife reviews, some of them I get get a whole lot of traffic, some of them don't get much at all. But the Civivis, you guys just freak out every time I mention a Civivi, which I understand they're a new company and everybody loves them and you wanna know more about them. And that's why I'm only putting them down in fourth. They actually, by the numbers and by percentage, they probably could be like second, but they're a new company, so we'll see if that holds up. But you guys love the Civivi reviews, and you should. They're 42.50 now. There are uh, some more coming up uh, that will be a bit more expensive. I think 68 bucks, and we'll see how that holds up once I get those with uh, some with VG10 and some titanium parts. So we'll see how that holds up as time goes on. But fourth place to the Civivi. As I said, could have probably made it higher, arguably. In third place. Where do I have all of them? Third place is Kershaw, which is kind of unsurprising. The, the budget stuff goes well, and Kershaw has done a whole lot of new budget stuff with these new KVT ones. And also, you know, we've had some cool knives this year, like the, uh, and I've only been doing this less than a year, like the M390 Knockout from USA Made Blade. So uh, not unsurprising that they are in third. You guys like budget, and you like cool limited edition stuff, and they do a lot of both of that. So not at all surprising. Notice I didn't say zero tolerance. Uh, zero tolerance that doesn't doesn't get often doesn't get nearly as many clicks a few of them have there have been some notable exceptions the uh 0393 one i did got a lot the 0609 does okay but uh most of the time uh, the the zt stuff doesn't get quite as much traffic as these and honestly i haven't had as many zt so i may be being a bit unfair to zt in this maybe they would have more if i reviewed more of them but uh i don't have a whole lot of them but yeah kershaw you guys love you guys love to watch videos about the Kershaw. Next up, in second place, we have Benchmade. Benchmade is definitely the second place one easily. Uh, every time I have a decent Benchmade on, 
everybody wigs out about it. I'm just pulling out two here, the 940-1 and the uh, Bug Out. Bug Out especially is a big star on this channel. Whenever I can I can find a way to fit a, the Bug Out into a video, it gets a lot of clicks. So uh, you guys love your Benchmades. Uh, I know that in the comments it seems like you don't, but your clicks indicate that you do. So I would say second place, definitely, of your favorite knife brands, not mine, yours, is Benchmade. Clear winner in first place, and this is no surprise to anyone, I don't think. And I'm, again, I'm just grabbing three random ones because I, I have a bunch. Is Spyderco. You guys love your Spydercos, and there's no problem with that. They make some great stuff, and they make a lot of it. So it's pretty unsurprising that you guys love your Spyderco so much. But uh, yeah, Spyderco definitely is the consistently... If I if I was the kind of guy who just chased clickbait, I'd only review Spydercos. <laughs> you, guys, uh, you guys love your Spyderco reviews. There's a whole crap ton... Of, uh, of clicks on those. I don't know exactly what the uh, mathematical measurement of a crap ton is, but uh, it's you guys love your Spyderco reviews. absolutely. freaking lutely the, the playlist gets a whole lot of views. The individual videos get a whole lot of views. It's, uh, it's definitely, um, definitely, by far, your favorite knife brand. So again, this isn't me. This is just me going by your clicks. Uh, if you want to change this, this stat... Click on videos about other stuff, guys. This isn't uh, this isn't my choice. I, I I like all these brands. I think they're all good choices. They're some of my favorites too. Um, I, ones that got close. Uh, Best Tech was close. Some you guys like some of the Best Tech videos. Some of them you don't respond to at all. As I said, the Wii higher end videos and the Kaiser higher end videos. Some of them you love. Some of them you really don't. The, they just get no interest whatsoever. So. Uh, Hope you guys have enjoyed this, and uh, I hope it gives some insight as to uh, why occasionally I, I try not to, but I'll admit sometimes I think ah, I I need a I need a few more subs this week. I'm gonna do a Spiderco video, or I need you know I uh, didn't get as many clicks this week as I normally do. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a Benchmade video. It's it, that's it is. I don't do it all the time, but uh, I admit I do it sometimes. So uh, if you guys want more of other brands, go watch the videos of them. That's just uh, as simple as there is. I you got to this is this is entertainment, this is programming. You do kind of have to play to the market sometimes and uh, I, as I said, I don't do it often. Maybe once a I do videos almost every single day. Maybe once a week I'll do one that I know is just going to get a lot of clicks. Uh, I'll prioritize it over something else I, because I know I I don't never just don't review something because I don't think anybody's going to watch it. But it's not my number one priority to put up there. If uh, if I've got a a Spider Co and some uh, really nice custom that um, uh, I know that you can't get anymore, it it gets kicked down the line for the Spider Co because people watch it. So I will say also that uh, that that is another trend, not just by brand, but also uh, you guys seem to prefer stuff in the oh 40 to 200 dollar range when i review stuff much more over 200 bucks hardly anybody watches it uh except for zt is the only one that gets any clicks over that uh when i used to do i well no, i'll continue to do it. i want to say used to do but riots and stuff like that don't get a lot of clicks uh the expensive semi-custom stuff doesn't get a lot of clicks it's just uh just the way it is doesn't mean i'm not going to review them because i love them and if i have it i'll review it but uh it's not a not a priority for me so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. I hope you guys have learned something. I definitely did going through this. I appreciate whoever suggested this on the live show the other night. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.